I came back here as a faculty member because from the first day I stepped foot at Cornell as a medical student, I found it a very warm, welcoming environment that did have all the resources I needed to be trained to become an excellent physician. And uh, as a faculty, there's still a warm, welcoming environment at all levels of, of training and career here at this institution. I'm Dr. Brian Robinson. I'm an assistant professor of pathology and laboratory medicine at Weill Cornell Medical College. I've been attending at Cornell for five years, but prior to that, I was a resident at Cornell doing the AP only track, and I was a medical student at Cornell as well for four years. I found that Cornell was the best fit for me um, because it, in any pathology training program, you want to have a, a wide variety of specimens to, to review so that you have the, the best uh, breadth of knowledge you can, um, which Cornell did have. If you're in a city which has an international population, if you will, you're going to see a wider breadth of disease, including unusual inflammatory diseases, unusual tumors, things which you will not see in a small program. That enriches your overall experience and prepares you better for what lies ahead of you as a career. I did begin my residency training as both an anatomic and clinical pathology resident. But with the flexibility of Cornell's program, I was able to have an early exposure to clinical pathology, which allowed me to decide whether or not to continue down that track. And also, given Cornell's flexibility with the training program, once I decided that the anatomic pathology route was more in line with my career goals, I was able to switch into the AP-only track which many programs may not be able to offer residents because they're a small size. The program also offers senior level rotations that residents can tailor to their career goals. For instance, whenever I was a resident, I was sat as a junior attending during my senior or third year to sit with residents and act as the faculty member, which really helped prepare me for my future in being an academic faculty member and teaching. From the day that I started my residency here at Cornell, there's been new equipment arriving every day, um, new technologies from the multi-headed microscopes, of which we have probably nearly a dozen, to the slide scanning machine, which allows us to keep uh, in perpetuity our slides and do annotations and share for research projects across the country. It really is quite amazing. I remember when I was a first year resident here at Cornell, Dr. Hoda approached me with a book review to do with him, which as a first year resident, I knew next to nothing about reviewing a textbook and providing expert critique on it, but he helped me through the process. And, and that really was my first um, introduction into sort of medical writing. Another benefit of Cornell's training program is the ability of residents to do uh, outstanding research here at Weill Cornell, we actually have a fully funded translational research core facility that the residents and the faculty take full advantage of. This is the reason why we have a very strong presence at national and international meetings, notably the USCAP or United States and Canadian Pathology Academy meeting. And I think that for this reason, two thirds of our residents do end up in academic pathology after graduation. One of the unique aspects of our department is the Translational Research Program, which allows residents access to molecular techniques that are not available in most institutions. Next generation sequencing, various platforms for microRNA evaluation, point mutational testing, as well as a broad spectrum of immunohistochemical stains. One of my goals is to become a leader in the field of genetic urinary pathology and research and Cornell does have and does offer me all the tools I would need in order for that to happen from the Translational Research Laboratory that supports our research to the network of researchers and physicians. It really allows me to become a thought leader in the field. So residents who choose to train at Cornell come from all over the country and uh, sometimes the world. Even though they may have never lived in a large city like New York, the co-residents that they'll find here as well as the faculty are very open and welcoming to help them adjust to life in the city. I remember asking one first-year resident who was not a New Yorker, who had just arrived on July 5th, what she did on July 4th, what she said blew me away. She said she started the day with the run in Central Park, then she went to see the Metropolitan Museum, then she went to see a ballet performance in the afternoon, then she attended a concert in the evening, and then that was followed by fireworks. So that in one day, so now you can imagine what one can do with the 1,400 or so days of four-year residency. 
In addition, Cornell offers housing for residents, not in just pathology, but across the hospital itself, so that there are many different residents in all specialties that can interact and live together. One way that residents network locally, given the number of medical centers there are in New York City, there is a past society that holds monthly meetings in which residents from all different medical centers come together, uh, as well as faculty, which is a great networking event, in addition to the local meetings that residents are able to attend and interact with faculty and residents other programs are the national meetings that the department does support financially for residents to be able to attend and present the research. While Cornell offers um, several critical opportunities for residents, one of the things we focus on is allowing residents' schedules to be sufficiently flexible to meet their individual and professional needs. If as a resident you come in and you think you want to do lymph node pathology, and then in year three you decide you really want to do transfusion medicine, you need to be in a large department where that switch can easily be accommodated. The other key things are access to research, which we provide through our translational research laboratory, offering to support residents' research and offering to support their trips to meetings so that they can develop their professional networking and also their professional contacts and help them look for future jobs. The main thing that helps our residents be successful in finding jobs is that people understand the strength and caliber of residents that the program produces. Um, the variety of of specimens, the faculty we have doing the teaching, I think really help to create residents that are going to be successful um, whether they choose to be in academics or private practice.